Oh, my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Rennie Carroll, she became a dual person. Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. I can fly it. What I want to do is see you eating with those. I think it's like this. You put one stick there, and then you put the other one... There's in nothing to it. Oh? When did you become the chopstick expert? Among other things, it takes a little practice. You start with soup and work your way up to jelly. Look, there's Julie. Julie! Julie Chen! Hi. Hello, Julie. Hi, Miss Thomas. Mr. Mason. Hi. Uh, what brings you here? doing some shopping and sort of celebrating the Chinese New Year. Yeah, the year of the rabbit. Oh, it's the year of the dragon, uh, isn't it? Well, how should I know? Well, because... Because I'm Chinese? I don't know. So all right. I didn't mean any offense, Julie. Are you coming home? Oh, I don't live here. My father's store is over there. Oh, that's right. You told me that your father owns... He's still in the import business. But you told me that if... I've always been intrigued by Oriental art. No. Whenever you start browsing, it takes too long and it's getting late. All right. Some other time. I'd love to see it. Sure. See you tomorrow, Julie. It's a big day. The awards. How can I forget? Okay. See you Bye later. Bye-bye. Julie, what's going on? Your father isn't an importer. Please, Rennie. Don't tell anyone. Well, why not? If you're my friend, you'll keep quiet about it. See you in school. Hi, Dad. What's the matter? You know I worry when you are late. Couldn't help it. I had to work on my chemistry project. The award. How is it going? It's finished. And I think I have a pretty good chance to win. Even if you do not win, somehow we will find a way for you to go on studying. You know what? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll help you set up the tables. <laughs> For tomorrow, using equations, explain why the litmus paper turned blue. You may work in groups of two if you wish. Here's the word. Oh. I just picked it up in Dr. Barnes' office. The results are in this envelope. Now, the winners are Dave Parker and Julie Tim. Oh. You both deserve it. You know, this is too important to drop here. Let's keep the certificates and present them at assembly. It's a wonderful idea, and I think that your parents should be invited. Okay, class, that's all. Thank you. That's great. My dad's been looking for an excuse to look over the lab. Congratulations. Thank you. What about your father, Julie? Uh, I don't think he can make it. Well, that's too bad. He travels a lot, you know. I don't see much of him myself. Well, check with him. I'm sure he'd want to be here. Wait, I'll walk you out. I'll meet you outside. That kite's a beauty, Mr. Mason. They bought it in Chinatown. All right, how soon will it be ready to fly? Patience. 
I could use a little assistance. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this part goes here. No, wait. No, 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 no. It goes here. over here. Oh, okay. Here. Try. It. No, that's okay, not it. Okay, okay, you guys. Let the experts do it. Here, Julie. Because the Chinese invented kites, it automatically makes me an expert. Oh no! Uh, I only meant we were the experts. Y you know, the winners. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, I get so tired of it. Why do people assume I know everything from Charlie Chan movies to chop suey? They don't. It's just your imagination. Hey, forget it. Let's get something to eat. OK? I'll drop my books off at home. I'll meet you. Meet me. I'll walk you home. Come on. Well, no, Dave. You mean no? It's no problem. Come on. Look, thanks anyway. It just wouldn't work out. I really got to go. Julie! Hey, Julie! motion. Set Julie free. Oh, gentle wind, use your charm and hold this girl to keep from harm. Are you all right? Just a little scared. Thanks, Isis. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't have come here, but someone was chasing me. Well, that was me. I was trying to return these. You dropped them. I didn't know. Are you sure you're OK? I'm fine. Really? Hey, uh, Miss Thomas is out there looking for you. She'll give you a ride home. I don't want a ride home. Why don't you leave me alone? <laughs> Right there. Which one? If only you had gone to Chinese school. I know. I could tell tea from ginger root. But then I wouldn't have as much time to do the things I'm really interested in. Like chemistry. You did not tell me you win. I, I, I was getting around to it. You are not pleased? I am. About the award. 
the ceremony doesn't mean anything. Julie! Julie! What about the invitation? Forget about it. It's going to be a dull, boring waste of time. And I don't want to put you through that hassle. I wouldn't go myself if, if I didn't have to. Hello, Julie. Oh, hi. Your friend? Oh, um, yes. This is my father, Rennie. Hello, Rennie. So glad to meet you, Mr. Chen. Oh, I see you got the invitation. I hope you'll come. I am very proud of Julie, and I am honored. Good. I'll tell Miss Thomas. Thank you. Excuse me. I know I should explain. Right. You lied to Miss Thomas and Mr. Mason. Now when your father comes to school, you'll have to... He's not coming to school. But he just said... My father's different. He has old customs, old ways. You know how people are. They won't understand. I think they will. I can't take that chance. I love my father. I don't want to put him in any situation where he'd be laughed at. Julie, you're wrong. My father is not coming to school. I'll say that the awards were canceled. So don't say anything. Please, Rennie. You forgot your tea. Uh, I didn't know. It is I who did not know, my daughter. You don't understand. Perhaps it is you who do not understand. But I am proud of you. Julie! Don't you think this has gone far enough? It's my problem. Look, you're getting in deeper and deeper. I know you won't like this, but I phoned your father. You what? I thought you were my friend. I am, Julie. And it's the duty of a friend to do what's right. So I asked your father to come to the awards. You had no right. What did he say? He said he'd love to come. But not until you ask him. Please, Julie, ask him. I wish I could, but I can't. He'd be out of place, his language, the way he dresses. I can't, Rennie. Not to think you're selling your father short, and your friends, too. The way a person speaks or the way he dresses, those aren't the important things. The way a person is, that's all that's important. I can't help it. It's the way I feel. Just leave me alone, Rennie. I have to think things over. I wish I'd never won that dumb award. Julie! Hello, Kim Lab, Miss Thomas. Uh, oh, Miss Thomas. I am sorry to bother you. It is Julie. I have not heard from her since this morning. She promised she would come home early to help me. She hasn't been in school this afternoon. Excuse me, Mr. Chen. Rennie, do you know where Julie is? May I speak with Mr. Chen? Mr. Chen, this is Rennie. I told Julie that you and I had talked, and she was very upset. Said she wanted to go and think things over. Thank you, Rennie. But do not blame yourself. You are a good friend to Julie. But where could she be? I see. Well, I hope she comes home soon. Goodbye, Mr. Chen.
girl Julie said she wanted to go and think things over. Mr. Chen said that when she was a little girl, she used to go to Hidden Meadows whenever she had a problem. He was going there to look for her. Renny, you go on home. I'm sure all this will work out. I sure hope so. See ya. Julie. Get help. Hurry. Isis, thank heavens, my father. He's in the well. Please hurry, please. O oh, broken ladder with rungs too few, restore thyself as good as new. I thank you too, Isis. A very amazing rescue. I'm glad I could be of help. I must go now. Isis, before you go, may I introduce you to my father, Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen, my pleasure. 
How nice it is to hear a daughter speak with such pride of her father. Let's go home, father. <laughs> Julie, that was a lovely speech you made at the awards. I was very proud. I was the one who was proud. Mmm, <laughs> that looks delicious. It's called Mogu Gai Pin. It's made of mushrooms, bamboo shoots, snow peas, and chicken. <laughs> it is a traditional Chinese dish. You know, we Chinese are not only proud of our kites and firecrackers, but also of our good cooking. <laughs> here, here. This is delicious. Best thing I ever tasted. Mr. Mason, perhaps you prefer a fork. Uh, no, not at all. Ancient Chinese proverb, which means, man who tried to save face too long, wind up with empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> People who come from different backgrounds or different countries deserve the same respect that we give to anyone else. Putting someone down because they speak a different language or is a different color than we are just doesn't make sense. What does make sense is treating others just the way we want them to treat us. See you next week.